This is code.org. Let's see. High score background. Oh, yeah, I love this. Oh, keep in mind, if you don't have this, go back and do the other parts of the lesson. So we have a working game. Ya cha, ya cha, ya cha. Okay. Um, anyways, create a new background that shows up when the player reaches a good score of your choosing. Turn the background pink when the player gets over 10 points. Oof. I'm not sure how good I am at this. When, at least the game, I mean. When drawing the background, add an if-else statement to check if the score is some number like 10. Put the, or above, put the normal background in the else branch. Draw the background if the score is above that number. Okay, let's check this out. So right now, yep, and I have game background. I'm going to use another function because it makes the most sense to draw the special background okay um and so what i will be doing is you know i'm gonna actually start by taking their background because i still want the bridge that would make sense so i'm gonna click and highlight this chunk i'm gonna do Control c or command c on a mac and then notice this little black cursor thing i'm using the arrows to control it i'm gonna put it right here and do command v or Control v Control v on a pc uh, and then I'm going to do special background, I guess, for my function name. And it's just yellow here because it's saying you've never used this. Okay. So what should I do? All right. So we have fill. This is the background color. No, this is the bridge. See how it's filling this rectangle right here? That must be the bridge. So mm, red, green, blue. I want it to be... 150, 250. Oh, this never runs. I'm like, why is it not? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and where it says game background, just to test this out, I'm going to do special. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's more of what I was thinking. I do want it to be more yellow. Background, red, green, blue. So I guess I want more that and less this. Sure, something like this, right? And then what else do I need? Well, I'm going to have the water turned to lava. So uh, I can go ahead and do, let's see. The water must be the background up here because it's the whole screen, right? Maybe. No, is the water set up here? Nope. Well, let's test. I'm going to make this 100, see if anything changes. Yep, something changed. Okay, good. I want this to be lava, so I'm going to do like 20 and 10, I guess, because red is going to be most prominent for lava. Not sure you knew that about lava. Uh, 225, I guess. 255 is the max. Sweet. Wait, this looks like McDonald's now. I need a different color for my road. Fine. Um, I... What's that? Ooh, that looks no. Um, maybe this needs to be. Let me zero that guy out. I'm getting there. Okay, I'm liking this, and then um, these are the side rectangle things. So I'm just going to actually uh, change this fill to orange. Oh, I got to put the word in quotes. I'm going to use a word. It should be in quotes. There we are. And hmm, I'm going to throw up some small ellipses. One, and two, and three. And I mean small so i'm gonna say 20 20 actually there'll be a right so this is width and height right x y width height so i'm just going to use width because it will automatically keep the height the exact same number so that will be 20 that will be 10 this will be five and what i'll do now is i'm going to randomize their x and y so they go all over the screen so math random and do i run a randomize both and eh, maybe I'll just randomize X so they don't go every direction. And X, I'll randomize 0 to 400. 
zero to 400, zero to 400. My Y value, I don't know, maybe, I'm gonna do 50, uh, 200's the center of the screen, so 300 and 350, I'm making this up. <laughs> um, and I want them to be, ooh, I need a new fill. Ah, and I can easily do more of these. So maybe I want this one again. And I'm just going to control C, control V, and I'll put this one at maybe 150. Ah, go crazy. Oh, I need that higher. So the last part of this then is that we only want it to happen if they get a certain score. So to do that, I'm going to head up here. I want to change this back to just their regular background, game background, background, and I need a conditional. I need an if statement. So I'll head over to control now, and I'm checking if something is true, but we also need an else. Keep in mind, else is the default. So I'm going to drag this out and drop, and else, all right, first off, if. What do we want to have happen? I guess I'll use their score of 10. So if the player scores greater than 10, they get the special background. Well, I'll head over to math then and grab the greater than sign, right? And our variable score. So if score is greater than 10, I'm going to call this function, the special background function, Zoop, right here. And I need to type in special background else. Now, remember, else is the default. So at all other points, else runs. So if I drop this here, when we hit run, I get the regular background because right now my score is zero. Zero is not greater than 10. So the computer runs this if statement, this conditional statement. I'm asked 30 times a second because it's in the draw loop. I'm asking it a question. It's a, it responds with a Boolean, either true or false. Score is greater than 10. Well, that is false. If it is false, it can never run the stuff in the if. It always, if there's no else, it just keeps going. If there is an else, it has to run the else statement. My else statement is the normal background. Right. So let's say if I do if score is greater than negative five, what's going to happen now? Well, the second the game starts, I have a score of zero. Zero is greater than negative five. So it will be the special background. However, once I have a score less than negative five, it has to now go to the else, which is the normal background. Let me put back at 10 and beat this thing. <laughs> die, die. No, no. Ah. OK, this might take a minute. No. Okay, so for this demo, um, we're going to do a score of two gets the special background because I'm pathetic. <sighs> Got it. Wait a minute. Oh, it's greater than two. Dang it. Go. Yeah. Onward. Actually, I should change it back. But onward. <laughs>